Go to Michael Highland with more on Cal Cunningham in the final hours leading up to those results. Michael. Yeah, he'll be speaking here in downtown Raleigh at this event the Democrats are having outside tonight while they try to adhere to social distancing. We have some video from earlier this afternoon when Cal Cunningham stopped by a polling site in Durham. He mentioned it was his 56th stop in 12 days. But Cunningham's campaign stopped giving reporters his schedule weeks ago as he faced questions about his affair. At the last press conference he had a few weeks ago, he was asked four times whether there had been any other affairs, and he declined to say. It presented an opportunity to Senator Tom Tillis and Republicans as national groups trying to present the Republican majority in the Senate poured millions of dollars into the state to run ads against Cunningham. Cunningham has tried to focus the race back on health care and the COVID-19 pandemic, arguing Tillis should have done more, including working to get another stimulus bill passed. He has not gotten the job done for North Carolina. In the push and pull of Washington politics, he has decided that there's something more important than representing North Carolinians. It's the partisan interests. It's the corporate interests. I'm going to go to Washington and put North Carolinians first in the debates ahead. This is Cunningham's second campaign for Senate. He ran in 2010, but did not get his party's nomination that time. When news of the affair broke, experts who I talked to said they anticipated it could cost him in the polls anywhere from two to four points, but they doubt it would actually cost him the race. And so far, the, po the polls have borne out that prediction, and this race has gotten incredibly close in the final days, leading every vote today to matter. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.